Alyssa well, Uncommon Fossil today. I want to take a look at Arceus Gudra. This deck is having success in events based on the Limitless uh, webpage. And uh, so I want to take a look at I've done, I believe, videos on Gudra with Lost on Engine, but I've never did a video on Gudra with Arceus. And obviously that's always been a very solid way to play the deck as well. And it is successful. It's running at about a 52, 53% win rate. And that's quite solid. The majority of decks do not have win rates above 50%. So you really like to see it. Gudra is tanky. At uh, 270 HP, it's a V-Star. Uh, 270 is not super high, but then with the rolling iron attack, which is water, metal, colorless, it does 200 damage, a solid number. And then during opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 80 less damage from attack. So you, so to one-shot it, in terms of damage, you'd have to do 350 damage or have something like Giratina's V-Star that just knocks a Pokemon out, right? Uh, 350 re essentially is gent almost undoable by the vast majority of decks. And even those that can do it usually have a tough time pulling it off. So it's almost impossible to one-shot. Um, and it, it has a V-Star power that if you haven't used Arceus's V-Star power to set up, is quite nice. Moisture Star, during your, your turn, you may heal all damage from this Pokemon, uh, which is quite nice. What part of why I like the Lost Zone version is you didn't have another V-Star power to use, so you always would... would Moisture Star to heal up, and uh, then it's going to take at least three attacks, maybe four attacks, to take out the Gudra, and that's quite nice. Um, but a lot of times you are going to use Arceus is V Star power, so should be familiar with Arceus V Star, right? Two eighty HP um, Evolution Pokemon, right? Trinity Nova does two hundred damage for three, similar to Gudra, but a lot of times it's this is three colorless, so a lot of times they have a DTE down to one eighty. But then you get to accelerate three basic energy cards to your V Pokemon any way you like. And obviously, with Gudra being a Dragon-type Pokemon, you have a mix of energies. It's always a little harder to set up. So that Trinity Nova attack, very useful. Also, uh, you can do Trinity Charge if you go go. If you go second, I, if you can pull it off on your, your first turn there, accelerate three energies without doing any damage. Um, and then the Arceus V-Star has the Star Birth ability, as I'm sure you're familiar with. Search your deck for any two cards. So a lot of times that's crucial to setting things up necessary to get off in like the DTE attached to Arceus. But if you don't need to use the Star Birth, don't, jump, don't use it unnecessarily because Gudra's Moisture Star is very good. So those are it. If we're attackers, and we're playing a 2-2 barrel line. Oh, sorry, it's a 4-3 line of Arceus because we need that to get set up. And then just a 2-2 two, two Gudra V-Star line. Some, some decks will play a third of the basic V. I'm just doing two because of deck space. But then, and then a 2-2 two, two Barbarial Engine. Obviously, if Path is in play, which this deck does play, um, um, as well as a Crystal Cave, um, the barrel still works. So in terms of energy, I like to jump to that next. Four DTEs need that to set up the Arceus, which is really key to get things going. Because Gooch is tanky, we play three of the V-Guard energies, uh, provides a colorless energy, which Arceus is just colorless, and Gudra is metal, water, colorless, so V-Guard works on Gudra as well, and then it, it, the Pokemon takes 30 less damage from your opponent's V-Pokemon, so making Gudra even tankier. And then four basic metal, four basic water. We need to accelerate those. And then if you haven't, if you know me at all, I'm going to play Mel uh, Melanie in the deck when I play water energy in V Pokemon. Uh, not all lists play it. Some do. Once I, once I had the decision, do I want Melanie or not? It's always an include for me. You attach a water energy from the discard pile to one of your V Pokemon, draw three cards. Another way to get that Gudra set up faster and draw some cards. I do like it as an option, but just one of in this deck. So getting into the other trainers here, play two box of disasters as one of the tools. If uh, the V Pokemon, this card's attached to has full HP, is knocked out from damage, put eight damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. Hopefully your, your Gudra V is not Gudra V stars get not getting knocked out, but the basic V might. 
or the Arceus V-Star certainly can get one shot. And if there's a rope boss situation, the bet, you know, you're vulnerable to getting knocked out because then you lose that extra damage. And then that eight damage counters along with the 200 damage that Gujar puts on, then one shots the vast majority of Pokemon. So that 80 da eight damage counters can be meaningful. One choice belt as well. Since we're doing 200 damage, we want to get to that 220 or 230 level to take out basic Vs or basic EXs. Switching options, one escape rope, one switch, which is kind of the standard these days. One judge um, could play more judge, could might not play judge at all. I had two judge, but I cut one to put the Melanie in. So, um, you know, judge is kind of one of those cards that fluctuate in those lists a little bit. Uh, for nest ball... Uh, we also have four Ultra Ball to get Pokemon Search, so just jumping to that. Then for other supporters, for two Research, uh, three Boss, and four Iono. Uh, just, you know, a, a very solid set of supporters. Only two Research. I think we don't want to discard too many things in the game. So a lot of times the Research, you get it with um, Arceus's V-Star ability, or if we want it early game. But otherwise, a lot of times we do without it. Then we play Lost Vacuum to bump Path in particular because we need to use a V-Star power once in the game, whether it's Arceus or Gudra. We almost always want to, you know, we don't want to end the game, especially on a game we, we're going to lose, without using our V-Star power. Then to we also play two Crystal Cave to bump Path, and it just helps us heal, right? Heal 30 damage from your metal or dragon Pokemon. Obviously, Gudra's dragon, so making it that much tankier. I like it in this deck. And then three Path to the Peak, because Path is obviously super prevalent today. It is important for shutting off uh, things like Pidgeot, EX, and such. So I think, so you need Path, but we need, but we also have three ways to bump Path, so we can use our ability the one turn, but then get that Path back down. So uh, I really enjoy Gudra. I gotta say, it's 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 fun. It's 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 tanky. I like tanky, and with Arceus, it sets up quite easily. So let's see what we can do with this list. So choosing heads here. Hopefully, I win the toss, and I do. I will go first, right? Um, hopefully, I can uh, get off the attack with Arceus V Star on my second turn. Um, all right, this is very nice start. Have the Arceus, have DTE, have Nest Ball, so I can get a basic Gudra V into play. And those are the key pieces. It would be nice to get a Bidoof into play as well, but, you know, don't need to be greedy. So I'm liking this as an opening hand. I'm obviously, in, in fact, if I don't get um, hand disrupted, all right, my opponent played Duraludon. Okay, so this is going to be awkward. In that, nah, it's okay. I, I was just thinking, thinking out loud. Sorry. Well, I should. Oh, thinking out loud is probably good. All right. So one Gudra is prized. So that's important to note. And I will end my turn. So P Crystal Cave helps my opponent as well as myself. So I'll have to think about when to play it. Um, I also might want Path Down because Duraludon V Star will be immune to the Arceus with the DTE attack. So I don't want to get more DTEs attached. All right. Um, that's okay. Oh, that's, that's quite nice. All right. So I'm going to want to... I have the V-Star, right? So I'm going to want to rope. I think I want to hit into Duraludon. So assuming it's not prized, I want to rope. And what else do I want to get? I haven't used a supporter. I don't know if I want to... Hmm, I, I don't really want to help out my opponent, though. So I might then want to chuck down Path, actually. Path, I think, is the play after this. Um, I have the energies. Um, do I want to evolve, right? Evolving would be really nice as well. Maybe I need to do that. Um, I'm going to grab the path. It's risky. It's risky grabbing path because um, I didn't pay attention to the energy count. I should have looked at the energy count. I'm going to put the water in, in case I get knocked out. 
Um, so I'm going to come up short on him, but I'm powering up my Gudra V. I've got to get the V star, though. So, and then I've got, I will do an extra metal is what I'll do. Okay. You know, at some point, I could attach extra basic energy to the Arceus, retreat off the DTE. That way, if it becomes the V-Star, the Duraludon, and they bump path, um, I have that. So, but even, all right, so bosses, orders, yeah, that's annoying, but that's okay, too. Um, that's quite all right, actually. So, they're, they can attack next turn. Um, but that's okay. I don't really mind that, right? So I'm going to get a basic water in the discard pile. I'm going to attack with Arceus, take the knockout, and we'll see if they stick around or if they concede after this, right? Uh, the game's gone very poorly for them. I don't get. I don't have my V-Star, though, right? Um, so I might draw a basic V here, but I, which I guess I would play. Um, might as well play another Gudra. They're not going to knock out my V-Star. Um, they could gust me up again. So do they have energy to attack? I don't even know if they do. Um, right? They might not be able to do anything. So they just pass. I will get energy onto my Gudra. Um, that's my basic play here. Don't bump my Stadium, of course. That would be bad. Now I am one attack away from winning. I have two of these powered up. I don't have a V-Star in play yet. They're both in my deck, though. I'm not overly concerned. Honestly, my, my opponent, um, they're in a lot of trouble. They may, they may just pass here, too, um, if they can't do anything. So they're going to keep going. So I give them credit just trying to make something out of this game. Um, they will one-shot my, my Gudra Vs. But you know, they did concede because, you know, what were they going to do? Um, so obviously my opponent did not set up at, at all that game. Um, Dreladon always had that feel to me that it was always very high roll, I will say. Um, although Arceus, although Gudra, I mean, Dreladon's high roll, Gudra can be too, of course, but things set up very nicely there. All right, let's see what we can get out of a second game here because that game was quick. Uh, so lost the coin toss. Probably ha will have to go second this game, right? I believe I went first last game and got a very nice opening hand, and things went quite quite nicely, right? Um, and and things went very badly for my opponent. I took a risk by 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 benching by playing the path. That certainly paid off that last game. It kept them from getting their V star off. So have Arceus. Uh, don't love this. Um, uh, I don't have DTE. I assume I'm going second. I didn't pay attention. Yeah, going second so up against Mew. Uh, it's it's not not great matchup. I do one shot of Genesec with my Gudra V Star. Um, so uh, what do I do here? That's a good question. I don't have some of the decks play Volo, which scoops up a V Pokemon. I don't remember if it's a basic V or not. So they're trying. My opponent's trying to get down to a small hand so they can get a lot of cards with their Genesec. So that, that's quite nice for them. Hitting heads on Cram, they'll grab a Battle VIP pass, get down either two Genesecs or a Genesect and a Mew. Um, and then they will have four Pokemon in play, so they'll draw two cards with a Genesect. They, um, oh, they they did the uh, forest seal stone. I wonder if that was a mistake. I, I've made I've sometime made that mistake because they really should have saved that. I guess they're just being um, so a little greedy there. I think saving the forest seal stones better, right? Um, use the Genesec, see what they get uh, there. It's obviously a great turn for them, and I don't have a great hand for myself, so not liking my situation. Um, so we'll see. Wow, you know, um, they're they're getting exactly what they want. They're gonna get energy attached this turn too. Um, so now uh, they need to get a choice belt attached to the Mew, assuming they're attaching DTE. Um, okay, and they have free retreat on the Mew, so that that makes sense. They're protecting their 
Mio on the bench that I would that the one they attach energy to. So so now now I'm in a lot of trouble. It's, it's easy to say I'm in a ton of trouble. Um, play down Gudra. What am I going to do here? Um, I will. All right, this is a bad situation for me. Is what I'll say. I'm going to hope they can't knock me out. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hope because I kind of feel like that's where I'm at. Um, going to Iono. I, maybe I, I could have waited because I might have drawn into DTE. Um, but don't have that option now. Gudra. I will put Box of Disaster on one of my Gudras. Okay. See what happens. Not loving my situation. Um, they have seven cards in hand, so right now they don't draw any cards, but obviously they haven't played anything yet. I assume they can, um, you know, unless I got really lucky, and it would be very lucky if they can't play any cards from hand here. So we'll see what happens. They're not doing anything. Okay, Elisa Sparkle, they're thinking through, so they're going to knock me out. That's guaranteed. They're going to take a knockout. It's a question of what are they going to knock out. Um, which, you know, I, I probably should just scoop at this point, right? Uh, I mean, if they knock out the Arceus, um, I can't accelerate energy. Well, I mean, I, uh, I have to, uh, I guess, send up the Gudra, bench the Arceus, uh, second Arceus, and Iono, and hope I get a DTE and, um, Switching card, right? I could have benched an Arceus last turn. Uh, I obviously chose not to. I was hoping I could get away. They still might... I mean, I guess they could rope me or gust, me, gust up one of the other ones. I assume taking out the Arceus is, is the worst thing from my perspective. They attached the DTE to Genesect like for free retreat. Okay, that seems... Wow, they, wow, 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 wow. So they didn't get the knockout. So that is super good. All right, so now, do I want to Iono? Do I want to attach? I'm going to be greedy. I'm going to Iono. If I hit, if I get my V-Star, I can, I can do damage this turn, right? And that's really what I want. So that's nice. That's very nice. So... Toss him down. I'm gonna to toss down Bidoof. So that missing the knockout there, right? They didn't they need a choice belt, didn't get it. It's huge. So now I need a DTE and a V uh I do I do I want do I want a V star or do I want to path them? Hmm. Path could be the best play here, right? Um, so attach the DTE, play the path, um, attack. I do 180. Um, I'm going to put the energy... So I need to save those energies. I'm going to put it on the Gudra with the Box of Disaster because if they, because they, if they have boss, they might want to go after the Gudra with the energy. But then, it, but then it puts 80 damage on them. Um, I don't. It's probably not very helpful. I probably will. I'll knock them out anyway. Let's see what they hit. So they are going after the Gudra with the Box of Disaster. Okay. Um, let's see what they do here. So power tablet, which they need to one-shot me. Um, are they going to... Okay, so they're attacking with him. Yeah, the Box of Disaster doesn't really help me. But I can attack now with the Arceus again. Power up the Gudra. That's the play. Now, it's a bit of a risk if I use Barrel, and I think I do. I'm pretty sure I do. So path, I like path and play. 
I will judge, I think, because I, I need to accelerate those energies with Arceus, right? If I, if I draw two energies, I'm going to be very sad. Okay, I would have liked to attach the V-Guard energy, um, but that's okay. One, two. So I'll see one more card. I'll do that. If it's an energy, I'll be... Oh, Path. I See, I like that. The odds were I wasn't going to draw the card I needed. So I take out a, a VMAX, which is good. It gets me three cards. I get the energy I need on Gudra. I do want a V-Guard energy, of course. I don't have the VMAX in play yet, so that's not good, right? No VMAX, no good. That's All right, research is good. Ultra Ball, this is a nice hand. My opponent may want to obviously hand disrupt me because Iono's down to three, or even Judge puts me to four, much smaller hand size. But um, since I have the two V-Stars in the deck, so they, all right, so they're bumping path, so that is good for them. I mean, I assume, wow, now that doesn't make, Okay, so they had that play. They didn't need to... So it was a box of disaster. was just to thin things off. They could have... Which is fine. So I, I understand the play. I thought they had made a huge mistake with what they did, but they didn't need it. So they're going to attack me with the V. Max again. Um, I will hit them back with the Gudra, I think. Um, we'll see what happens. They haven't played the supporter yet, right? So... No, so we'll see what happens. What's the energy situation? They've gotten rid of two fusion strikes, so they cannot... Once the Gudra attacks... Now, having the, the barrel on the bench is kind of a bad thing, because... So they're probably going to attach a second energy to the Mu Max, which that's okay. Um, it only does 140 with the one, so just thinning their hand, um, although they don't get any more draw out of it, because they're out of out of cards there. So they can attack with Mew again next turn. Um, so I will, I mean, I like Crystal Cave. I play it myself, but I do have Path. I like Path quite a lot, so I don't want to play any more Pokemon. So get rid of you, get rid of you. I want a Gudra. Let's see what's in the deck. So I have my two boss, and boss can give me game. So I want to thin, 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 thin. And I'd like to get choice belt. I don't, I don't mind choice belt. It's not crucial, right? So I'm going to research this turn. So I want to attach the V-Guard energy. Make me tankier. Play the path. I'm going to thin things down before I research because I want to get boss in hand. I want to be able to boss for game. That That's really my goal. They're not going to win this next turn. I don't think, don't think they can, so that's good. Um, I'll just get, get rid of you. I'm going to play research, and I'll even use the barrel if I can. But um, I want to thin. I, I, I could have... All right, I like that too. So I will, and rope is nice too, actually, right? So now I'm doing 230, and I, I didn't hit the boss. That's part's unfortunate, but we'll see what happens. So rope, double rope or rope boss gets them a long way towards what they need, right? I, I'm taking a less damage. I'm at 270. Um, they're not reducing damage. What's the power tablet situation, by the way? Uh, they played two. They have two more, so that gets to 60. So, okay. So they played the power tablet, which, of course, is smart. Um, I don't have boss, so um, in one sense, I wouldn't mind them. I would, okay. I would have was hoping they were going to disrupt my hand, I got to say. But that did not happen. So 130. Oh, but they, uh, okay. But they've given me game. So I just hit into them. I don't need boss because they just attacked. Not sure why they did that. But um, there we go. Um, not an easy matchup. I'm not sure exactly about how, why my opponent played what they did. Um, obviously, in PTC Joe, you didn't have to take the last prizes. The game, the game was smart enough to know the game was done. It's not like I get some huge satisfaction in grabbing those prizes. 
Um, and if your opponent's not paying attention, um, you know, you sit there a bit. So anyway, so there we go. Two for two with the deck, right? Um, and I played it earlier today some. And look, I, I enjoy Guja. It's, it's, it's you know, it's, it's a tanky-ish Pokemon. Um, you know, with that extra 80, super hard to knock out. It actually takes it out of range of the um, menace of um, Charizard EX, and that's very important. Even, even, if you, even if you've taken five prizes, they do not knock you out, I believe. I believe they do 330, and then they would with Choice Belt, they would one-shot you, right? So another piece they need, which they might have, but it's a very... Look, it's it's a solid deck. It's, you know, a deck that's been around a while. The list is adjusted a little bit, but honestly, uh, there's not too much new in this list, right? Not too much new in the list at all, if if anything, right? I mean, like Boxed, no. I mean, I wouldn't have played Boxed Disaster before. That's a newer add to help with the way the meta is right now. But it's a fairly old deck, but these old decks are very, you know... They, they were good before. They are good now. Don't forget about them. You know, pull them, dust off these old decks, update the list a little bit, and have some, some fun playing them. Take care.